Hello and welcome to this quick look at setting up a simple startup file for DOSBox. If you're new to DOSBox, you may not realize you can save your commands to the option file so they will be run upon startup. What this means is that you can have your folders and drives of games mounted without having to repeatedly type in the commands. I'll assume you already have DOSBox installed. First thing to do is simply create a folder. Copy any of your DOS games that you wish to use and put them in the folder. Next, navigate to your DOSBox installation and open up the Options bat. Scroll to the bottom. This is where we will put our commands. It even states this is where to place commands to be run on startup. First, we'll mount our DOS games folder as the C drive. This is done using the mount command, followed by the desired drive letter, then the location of the folder where your DOS games folder is on your computer. We also want our working drive to be the C drive by default, which within DOSBox is the same as our actual DOS games folder. If we now open up DOSBox, you'll see in the history that it has mounted our games folder and changed us to the C drive. Typing DIR will verify the contents of our mounted C drive. I put the shareware version of Doom inside. Next up, we'll have a look at mounting a CD image. Preferably you want them to be in ISO, but .bin files also work no problems. I'll just put Carmageddon in my DOS games folder. Back to the options file, we'll use the mount command again. For a lot of DOS games, it's easier to mount the image to the D drive, as that is where a lot of games look by default. Some games will have issue with other drive letters. So opening up DOSBox again, we'll verify our mounted D drive. Type DIR, and we can see all the contents listed. Typing setup, or whatever the install file is called, will start the install process as expected. I'll now navigate back to the C drive and start up the game. Great, everything is up and running. The final command I want to show is mounting an optical drive as the CD-ROM for DOSBox. It's ever so slightly different, but I'll show it here. First though, we'll comment out the image mount command. If you wish to have commands in your setup file, but not use them, then simply add a hash, or for my American cousin's pound sign, to the beginning of the line. This makes it nice and simple for having a list of mount commands that you simply uncomment if you wish to use them. I'll do this here with the ISO mount command. And now the CD-ROM mount command. It's the same as for mounting a folder, just add the dash T CD-ROM to the end. Save and back into DOSBox, we'll just verify it's working. So here's the content of the CD. As before, just run setup to get installing. And there we go, a basic setup of DOSBox that should make it a bit easier to simply just start and go with whatever games you want to play. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please drop them below as a comment. Like or subscribe if you want to see more short, quick fire guides like this. So until next time.